What's up everyone? Welcome to Chris's Beer Reviews. Today is Monday, November the 25th. And uh, before I get started on the review, I was just going to let everybody know that uh, I know in the past I've mentioned that um, here in my town that I live in, uh, I live in the southwestern part of Tennessee and here in this little small town it is pretty dry when it comes to craft beer. Uh, pretty much you can't find anything in this town. Uh, I've checked about every store in the area. I found one, uh, one store uh, about 10 minutes from town in another little smaller town and they have a small selection but they've got some okay stuff but uh, normally I buy all my beer at uh, there's two separate um, craft beer stores in uh, the North Mississippi area where I work and anyway today um, I decided I was going to drive on into town uh, like I said my friends mentioned that one of our liquor stores has started carrying the craft beer so um, I stopped off I've got like a it's like a 45 minute drive for me where I worked um, back to home so um, like I said about 45 minutes I was on the road and I was contemplating and I was uh, thinking you know wondering what they had I was getting all myself all pumped up getting all excited so I got uh, to the liquor store walked in and at first I didn't see anything all I saw was wine and uh, different variety of liquors but I noticed uh, off to the right hand in the back side of the store they had a beer cooler where they kept um, some of their wines and uh, like malt, malt beverages uh, kept them cool but I noticed there was a couple a very 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 small selection of craft beer and uh, there was I think there was like two separate kinds of uh, Lagunitas uh, they had four different types of uh, Samuel Adams uh, which is uh, it was actually their more upper end uh, Imperial collection which I came really close to trying that but I noticed down in the bottom part of the cooler they had something I've been wanting to try I've actually tried this um, this uh, specific breweries uh, regular IPA and uh, anyway without further ado uh, today's review is going to be coming out of the Bridgeport Brewing Company out of Portland, Oregon, and it is their Hop Czar Imperial IPA. Um, I kind of did a little research on this one, and it, some are calling it a double IPA, some are calling it an Imperial, so um, we'll be the judge of that. Anyway, uh, this thing comes in at 7.5% uh, uh, alcohol by volume. Uh, 87 uh, IBU and uh, do not know what kind of malts or hops that they use in this specific uh, beer but um, I do know the IB it tells the IBU and the ABV right on the side of the bottle so that's a plus um, Bridgeport being one of my favorite breweries um, as far as their regular IPA actually talked to the guy uh, in my uh, my hometown and the town that I work in, I've been uh, everywhere. Cannot find Bridgeport IPA anywhere. So I was kind of excited and surprised when I saw that they had Hopsar. So I talked to the guy that uh, runs the the uh, package store, and I believe I've got this guy talked into ordering regular Bridgeport IPA for me because it's one of my go-to beers as far as you know, just a traditional American style IPA if I could only find it around here. I actually have to go to uh, Nashville in the Middle Tennessee uh, area to uh, buy Bridgeport. It's not accessible in my area, but I do occasionally uh, get Bridgeport, uh, usually from a friend of mine. But anyway, like I said, this, uh, this is the Hop Czar from the Bridgeport Brewing Company uh, Imperial Style IPA. So anyway, uh, enough bullshit. Let's crack this thing open. Let's see what it looks like. And like I said, once again, I'm pretty excited to try this. Uh, my friend uh, William said that it's nothing really to write home about, but he's very spoiled on the regular Bridgeport IPA, and he saw this one in his beer store and decided he was going to try it. He was kind of let down, but, you know, to each their own. Everyone has different tastes. Everyone has different opinions. So, anyway... Uh, like I said, without further ado, let's pour this thing up, guys. See what it looks like. 
and I'm going to be pouring this into a traditional pint glass as usual okay I do not know if this thing is bottle conditioned uh, Bridgeport IPA the regular IPA is bottle conditioned uh, it definitely looks like an unfiltered beer so I'm taking it that this uh, is bottle conditioned I'm seeing a lot of carbonation bubbles coming up from the bottom um, yeah I believe this thing is conditioned I'm seeing a lot of uh, grain and uh, hot sediment floating around in there so yeah it's uh, a little bit different than the uh, traditional Bridgeport IPA but a uh, beautiful beer nonetheless uh, poured about about a good half finger uh, thin ring um, head around the top a uh, very creamy kind of um, almost uh, almost a uh, just regular white in color it has a slight cre um, caramel just a slight caramel color but uh, pretty much just uh, your basic uh, white colored head uh, very creamy very carbonated looking as far as the uh, head con is concerned uh, beautiful looking beer guys kind of a uh, dark um, kind of a gold a, de a deep golden amber with a slight coppery uh, tint uh, but beautiful beer guys still a lot of carbonation bubbles uh, rising up from the bottom uh, so anyway let's put a nose on it and see what it smells like okay um, smells pretty good smells actually it smells really good I'm not getting a lot of um, straight up hops on the nose but I'm getting a lot of um, a lot of pine characteristics a lot of citrus lots of citrus uh, I'm detecting lemon zest um, orange peel grapefruit <clears throat> other uh, various uh, tropical fruits right up front on the nose guys beautiful smelling a little bit of a hot bitterness um, as far as kind of a, the, a, a pine uh, pine style smell I, I'm taking that that's from the hops probably uh, Cascade and Centennial were using this for the for the bittering of the beer but yeah beautiful smelling beer very fruity uh, lots of citrus um, quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of pine um, hop characteristics but nothing really to write home about as far as the smell goes but I'm getting a lot of citrus a little bit of the um, uh, caramel malt sweetness on the nose but nothing uh, nothing really overwhelming don't really smell a lot of alcohol uh, so I'm taking that this is a very well hidden uh, ABV uh, being 7.5 and all so it's yeah, it's got a, uh, quite a bit of alcohol uh, in this beer, but yeah, a lot of a lot of citrus, a little bit of pine, but lots of citrus, lots of tropical fruits. Um, but yeah, delicious smelling. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's take a drink. See what this thing tastes like, guys. Whew. Very. Um, it's got a very strange taste um very bitter <clears throat> very bitter up front guys um it boasts an 87 uh, uh on the bitterness and i would say it's every bit of 87 if not higher it's i know stone ruination claims a hundred plus on the ibu and I don't remember Stone Ruination being this bitter, guys. I, I'm going to say this one should be more uh, more up there with the, uh, um, you know, as far as the bitterness. I would say this one's closer to 100. I mean, this thing is super bitter, super bitter, very hoppy. I mean, I didn't get a lot of hops on the nose, more citrus, but I get hops uh, right up front a very long lasting lingering bitterness on my palate it's very oily it's um, very sticky a lot of re a lot of uh, resin characteristics 
uh, resiny, uh, uh, resiny, uh, oily, um, sticky film. It leaves a lot of oily and sticky type film on the roof of your mouth, right on the palate, guys. This this thing is is thick. I would say this one is medium high to high uh, as far as the body. It's a very very um, thick body beer, guys. Very uh, very good though. Uh, but I'm not getting any of the uh, the caramel sweetness. Yeah, I'm 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 tasting malts, but not your sweeter malts. This is um, a different style of malt. I do not know what they're using uh, malt wise but it's 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 very malty but it's not a sweet malt. Very bitter beer guys. Very bitter. I'm gonna go ahead and say this thing is up there around a hundred. It's it's more it's more potent and bitter uh, than Stone Ruination and that was probably the most bitter uh, brew I've ever had. This thing is up there guys. Uh, but it's delicious. If you're a hop head and you like a, a strong bite, just, you know, a, a fist right to the mouth full of hops, this is, this is a beer to go for, guys. Um, I'm, I am detecting a little bit of a stringency um, in the back end. Um, as far as uh, I, I'm getting a little bit of the alcohol. It's a little boozy, but it, it, it's it's well hidden for a 7.5, close to 8% um, beer. This thing is well hidden as far as alcohol, but I'm getting a slight uh, bit of booziness, but nothing nothing overpowering. Um, very, very good head retention. It's maintained uh, a good half finger ahead. I, the head has not diminished one bit, really. Um, some decent lacing. Um, on the side of the glass. Let me go ahead and get another drink. Yeah, it's got some decent spotty lacing on the side. Um, I would not, I would not um, say that this one is better than um, your regular Bridgeport traditional IPA, but I'm a hop head, so I usually tend to like a more hopped up, you know, beer, a good hop bomb, guys, and. This is definitely a hot bomb, but I would prefer Bridgeport IPA over Hot Czar. Um, but definitely would buy this beer again. I do recommend it if you if you guys um, like a good hot bomb, uh, you know, a real hopped up beer, go for this one. Uh, do not um, do not uh, be looking or expecting any sweetness in this beer, guys. Uh, on the nose, it's very sweet. I'm getting a lot of citrus, you know, a lot of a uh, lot of citrus, a lot of tropical fruits, and a little bit of uh, a little bit of piney hops, uh, probably Centennial and Cascade, like I said. But on on the taste, I'm getting uh, I'm getting hops. I'm getting all hops on the palate. No fruit at all. No citrus. None of that. I'm getting straight hops. This is definitely a hop bomb, guys. So if you're a hop head like I am, recommended beer, guys. If you see uh, Bridgeport's Hop Czar Imperial IPA in stores, pick it up. I do recommend it. Um, I wouldn't recommend it over their traditional IPA, but it is delicious. So if you do see it, it's worth a try. It's definitely a, uh, a buy again. So... Um, it, it, I wouldn't say that this beer is highly drinkable. I uh, wouldn't consider it a, a real true session beer, but it's good. So, like I said, if you want a hopped up beer, go with the Hop Czar. It's really good, guys. I'm going to take another uh, last chug, and I'm going to call it quits for the day. But anyway, I uh, hope everyone has a safe week. Uh, have a good holiday. Um, enjoy time with your family and friends. I uh, hope everyone eats well. Uh, as always, drink safe and responsible. And cheers, guys.